Hi everybody, I know you're at home, I know you're healthy and I know you're safe and that's exactly the way I want you to be. So now we have this big, big, big lockdown period that has some of it has already passed which we did use and there's a lot that remains. So I thought that this is a good time to make take advantage of this opportunity and make sure that we work on our English, Math and Marathi skills. So I'm going to keep coming online every few days and I'm going to tell you what you should do. And I hope that you do this because that will make sure that your brain is exercised regularly, your skills get sharpened and you come out of the on the other side of this lockdown smarter than you entered it. Alright? So here's the first thing that I want you to do. I want you to open the email in which you have got your terminal results and then take your mathematics answer sheet that you have with you, the one that you photographed and uploaded on the classroom. Yeah, that's the one. So on that mark, on your answer sheet with an ink that is different from the ink that you've used to write the answer. So if you've written your answer sheet in blue ink, then use a black pen, a red pen, a crayon, or if you don't have anything else, use a pencil, that's fine. It just has to be different, okay? So on your answer sheet for every question, looking at the email, write the marks that the teacher has given you for every question. After that, close that email and open up your model answers. Uh, open up your question paper. Okay, not the model answers. Open up your question paper. In the question paper, for every question, you know how many marks are allotted. So if it's a four mark question and you got three marks, where you've written 3, draw a line under it like a fraction and write 4 as a denominator. So you know for that question, you have got 3 out of 4. So you have to do this for all the questions. Once that is done, I want you to solve the questions again where you have not got full marks. So if it's a 3 mark question and you've got 3 on 3, you don't need to touch it again. If you've got 2 and a half, 0 on 3, anything less than 3, you have to try and solve that whole question again. You can solve it right there on your answer sheet in the space that you have next to the question if the answer if you do have any or you can do it on a different sheet. It doesn't matter. The focus is that you must solve those questions again. After you have solved those questions again, open up your model answers which you already have and now check those particular answers. If you have got them right, it means you made a silly mistake which is still bad but not very very horrible a little practice and you won't make those mistakes again so we'll deal with those those questions later the questions where you've still gone wrong it means you have not got how to solve it so that means you have not paid enough attention to the concepts and you have not practiced them enough so what you need to do is you need to mark the lessons from which those questions have come and you need to go back and solve every question of that lesson from your worksheets, from your textbook. You can refer to the explanations in the textbook. You can refer to the explanations on your worksheets. You can even, uh, you must also access the online videos that we have uh, which are on Valmiki and which are also on our YouTube channel. Okay, all this will make sure that you get better in those topics. Mathematics is one subject which has a lot of continuity. If you don't understand 6th standard maths, 7th maths is going to be harder. It's not going to be easy for you to master 7th standard maths. So 8th will be even harder and 9th and 10th and so on and that's how it goes on. You may have the feeling that why am I doing this? I am not going to do maths after 10th standard. It doesn't matter. The maths that you have till 10th standard is actually very basic. The real maths starts only after 11th and you are a walnut student. You don't like maths is fine but not being able to do maths is not something that we are okay with. Okay, And there is no shortcut to this. If you sit with your tuition teacher or you sit with your mom or dad or you sit with your teacher and they explain to you how to solve a question, you are not solving it. They are. And when they are solving questions, they become better and better at math. You don't. So I want you to solve this on your own. It's already been taught to you in the class. You right now have access to every single lesson through the YouTube channel. You have your textbooks and worksheets with you already of the year. So now there is no excuse. I want you to absolutely do this. And you have two days to work on the lessons that you're weak in and go to the classroom and put up whatever you want to put up that I want to know what you did 
okay you have the solutions to everything you have all the material you do not need anything else now all you need is the will power and the concentration that you are going to do it so i want you to do it without any excuses and when you are done after two days i want to see some update from you on the classroom wall uh, in the classroom stream you can put up that these were the lessons i worked on and after i see that i will give you after i see students putting that up in two days i will come up with the next task and i will tell you what to do this is 2 hours every day at the most i really want you to do it i want you to set a schedule for yourself and be regular and make sure that we make the most use of this lockdown and you are actually actually smarter and smarter and smarter inside okay so i am waiting to see your updates on the classroom also we have quizzes that we put up on the classroom every day i would like you to take part in those you can make quizzes you can answer quizzes right now there are only two or three active students in every classroom the quizzes also help you think uh, creating the quizzes is a great exercise and answering the quizzes will help you think and also increase your general knowledge it will also keep you in touch with all your other classmates it's a very good platform i would like you all to be quite active there so i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of buzz uh, going on in our online classrooms and i would like to see your minds put to work 2 hours every day i want you all to get used to interacting with each other and the teachers on the classroom platform because it's going to be the way school is going to be for a long time now till everything gets back to normal and schools are allowed to run properly like they used to this is how school is going to be so it's best if you get used to it now so that it's not weird for you uh, when it actually happens in a very serious way for the whole day and it's going to be this way for a long time now life after corona is going to be very different from life before corona virus you all know that everybody is talking about it so please get on to the classroom and get active see you soon bye